Hello, hello, beautiful planet girls. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Aline from Digital Plans, and today I thought we'll do all of the stuff that I like to do on Sundays in my functional planners to get ready for the next week and to wrap up last week, all of that stuff. I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of noise. I will try my best to do some um, editing to the audio to cut that out. So let's go ahead and get started. Oop, this is my memory planner. This is last week's spread. I love it. I think it turned out really, really cute and you can watch the video on that if you want to. So let's go ahead. First of all, I like to start with Shelly planners. I don't show this a lot anymore because it has I feel like I said before more personal information and I've already added stuff here but basically I'm just using the weekly, the monthly view and I am using all of the finance sections because this is my completely finance planner so I just add here, um, I copy paste every week, you know I highlight the week, I copy paste every single week here, I do get paid daily, I need to just erase here so that I can you know do my dailies there. Um, if I'm waiting on something, I'll add it in here. So those came out. I'm just waiting for one package. So that's great. Um, yeah, that's my happy mail, really. Um, and just some stuff that has to get paid up. I really like to add my subscriptions in here. As you can see on Monday, I have to pay my Amazon subscription. If you see money... Uh, this is Mexican pesos, so it is not dollars, so don't worry about it. Like, if you divide it by 20, you will get um, the US, US dollars amount, so it's not $99. So <laughs> nobody freaks out. Um, if you see like crazy amounts, like my fitness plus. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's kind of the weekly. I'm not using the dailies, so though. The other day I was watching a reel that I made using these dailies, and I'm like, I kind of really miss them. I don't know. Uh, so that's what I like to do. It's not the end of the month yet. I still have a week So I'm not gonna go into my finance sections and add my monthly. So this is pretty much set up I'll just have to erase that and then the next thing that I like to do is go into this This is my work planner at the moment this is the versatile neuro life planner And I'm really happy with this uh, So as you can see I have Etsy new releases here so that I know that week what's going to happen and what I need to work on and focus on and I am a little bit behind because I did had one my vaccine boost that made me sick and after that I got super intense into working because I felt like I missed a couple of days of working so I completely burned myself out and got a panic attack and it was a whole thing so I was told to rest by my therapist so that was really hard but you know that's where we are um so i like to check these see the videos everything is going fine if i have anything scheduled to see that i have to do that that week and to add that into my weekly so let's go it's the 20 so oh we're here that's crazy um and as you can see i do have a therapy session and i do have a couple of things already up things that i do every single day so on sundays my memory plan with me has to go up uh, Friday is for new releases. I think I'm gonna have to change this to Monday and I will have Monday up the new Easter releases so that you guys have them in a couple of weeks in advance before Easter. Uh, mm -mm, my functional plan with me weekly that is all done and ready to go. I made that last week so because I feel like this has a lot of spoilers, like a lot of the stuff that is coming out and what I'm working for for next week. So I post this after the, the week is over so that you don't get spoiled on what's happening. I kind of like to go check how the week went. Like I said, it was pretty crappy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, a lot of stuff got done, but like not as much as I wanted to get done. This one was completed and released. Oh, I still need to work on these two things. Um, these are like halfway done and they've been halfway done for like a month. Like I really want to get those done. Um, that is pretty much done. I just have to release it tomorrow. And then a couple of other things that is halfway done and that is not even. Um, I need to do that. This is like a half priority that maybe I can get done today. If not tomorrow. So I do like to do like a little um, weekend sort of to do, which today is Sunday afternoon, so I don't know how much 
I can do, but I definitely want to try. I kind of want to make like a sheet full of like all the colors that I have in my shop so that you can actually download this for free and add it into your planner and just like put it on top of the kit that you want to use it with to see which like foil color you want and then that way you can purchase the one that you think will look cuter. Uh, or just like a reference if you already bought, which I know a lot of you guys buy a ton of bundles. Like, I know I also like to have options. So, you know, uh, I'm going to review my week. Uh, so basically, I just answer all of these questions. And then I'll go back into my dailies and see what still needs to get done that didn't get done. And I will make like a list um, of all the things that I still feel like I really need to get them next week and then I will prioritize and after that we're gonna do our weekly to see like what is my priority because right now I feel like is my priority health do I need to exercise more is my priority to rest is my priority to do more for but like what is my my toe pack focus for that week and depending on that is how I like to set up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, and I'll be right back uh, uh. focus ready my tasks that I need to get done that I did in next week to like um catch up on my work all of that as you can see my week is like whoop, diminishing from right this week was like giving myself a little bit of grace like I said productivity was of all mental health pff, horrendous and then my physical health which is like not even funny so from this I'm like oh god this like really brings me back to reality. If you can do something like this, you don't need this planner if you don't want to like spend the money on this planner, even though I would totally recommend something like this. Um, this is from the daily planners, I believe, and I'll try to leave a link down below to everything that I'm using as always. Um, but this is just for me like a wake up call at the end of the week. And I love, love, love doing something like this. Or you can just like throw back and like reflect like be really honest with you i mean i'm obviously sharing this in youtube but you don't have to uh -huh, so you can be totally honest with yourself and be like my mental health was not the best thing ever and if you feel like one of these is really low and you don't know like why am i rating it so low you can totally go ahead and add like a little um arrow and just like right here everything that you feel was not uh working which this is fantastic because you have also this little thing here. This needs work. My fitness schedule. I just forget. Like I'm running all morning working and then I come back and I'm a little bit tired. But I'm like, you know what? I need to work on the Etsy shop as well. So I'm putting myself here on work and I look at the time and I'm like, you know what? I probably should eat something. So I go out to eat something and I come back and I'm still working. And at the end of the day, I'm like, wait, I have to go back to work Um in the family business so it's like I'm running all day and I don't at the end of the day I sit down I'm like so tired that I don't even want to do my night routine which has my mental health journal which is very important to me right now so those steps are being cut and that's why I really feel like my mental health and my physical health is rated so low here so if you do that kind of thing um you're like, you know what, that's what I need to work on is my schedule. And I need to probably add some alarms into my um, into my day. I like, you know, make like a little block. If you can, like a little calendar block. Like the things that you really need to be somewhere else working or whatever. And then see the rest of it is like, how much time am I going to be doing for Etsy? Two hours, three hours, four hours, whatever. And mark that down and then make sure that I have space to do um, things to you know make this go higher because i know that these things i really want to work on these things are a priority in my life i'm not doing anything about it why is that so i feel like that's the beauty of doing like a weekly review really quickly and then also like my greatest task like look how much stuff i have to do um so it's like and i do everything i don't know if this would 
this week would be a little beneficial to do uh, time blocks of the day instead of um, just like a to-do list and try to drive myself crazy every single day trying to like check things off. Instead of doing that, maybe add time blocks and assign tasks and to-dos into that time block and making sure that I have little times for the things that are important to me as well. So let's see how this goes. I do have my week highlighted already. In habits, I definitely want to track. As you can see, I didn't track a lot last week. Like I didn't even um, check off things that I was doing. I didn't add my activity or anything like that. So I definitely need to find time in the afternoon to do that because I was giving myself grace. I normally do that, but not last week, like I said. So I definitely want to also have time to read haven't been reading and it's one of those things that really brings me joy um so i'm gonna try to do that as well i'm gonna do uh exercise movement that is cool let's see if we can add that to like the dailies like right here to track that this is kind of really cool i'm liking this one and then we can do what I like to do is I like to just make one of these bars and then I copy paste it throughout the week um, and then I add a special box so if for example this day I have a therapy session I can add it to that box and then some days I leave empty because so I try to rest and just like reset redo um, do my planning etc so that's what we're gonna do with this like I, I kind of talk to you through this because I'm gonna be here for like an hour <laughs> like I feel like this is already way too long so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna show you what I decided to like put there, right? with the way this is turned out so i decided to put here this little routine sticker this is from digital plan with b again i'll try to link everything down below so i'm just gonna create here a morning routine afternoon and evening routine that is gonna kind of help me out to like add these things into my dailies and then i'm gonna add them in my dailies here um i'm gonna do like a completely new daily so i'm gonna like blank these out um, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm doing these three things and that I am scheduling here a little bit of time and I'm just going to add here like morning routine and I know that that means these tasks. Um, so we'll see if that works or if I actually have to like <laughs> do it daily. Yeah, um, things that were here that are like kind of a priority, I put them on top. So like my therapy session, I just did use that same uh, box to like highlight really well that so that I immediately my eyes go there and i'm like oh i don't um i can't forget that so yeah that is really exciting i really like these boxes and these are like social media slash slash to do which is fantastic so here if i need to add a reel which i will add a reel here um which is gonna be my pink ipad cover unboxing which is this cover right here it is so cool it's like you know regular but these ones have magnetics and it comes with another cover so you add this with the magnets like boom in there and then you can like cover it up it even wraps your pencil around i'm really happy with these because most of the time i just want to have my ipad without anything like this so this is perfect anyways i need to do that i want to add that reel so maybe make this a little bit smaller so that i can say that it's a real 
real iPad case. So this is great because here I'm gonna be able to see if I need to film, if I need to post something, if I need to edit anything for like anywhere. So that is going to be a great because I do work a lot in social media. So that is fantastic. A to-do list, I'm just gonna every single thing that I have to get done. And um, I'm gonna see like how much did I actually check out and then that's how I'm gonna go ahead and rate my productivity here. So at the end of the week when I'm doing my review, it's gonna be like a little bit easier to like see uh, how productive I was. Like I said, my health is gonna be really big. So I did put a little movement thing here and I'm gonna add that. I'm not quite sure if I wanna add that into my afternoon or morning routine, but I'm gonna add my exercise either. And then I can just write my activity at the end of the day and then write here what exercise I did so that I have that and see like, oh, when I only do yoga, I have, um, I didn't complete the, my exercise ring, for example, or when I do this type of activity, I feel better, whatever. So I'm gonna check that there. And then I really like this one, um, this sticker right here, this widget right here, daily tracking. So today's emoji, so it's gonna be nice and easy for me to check how my mood was that day. A sleep tracker is kind of a big deal as well. Um, and then I feel like if I have insomnia, maybe I can add a little sticker here for that. Um, I don't need to drink more water. I just drink coffee all the time. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna add here. This is fantastic for me because I can add here if I took any medication to go to sleep. So if I was having insomnia and had to um, take a med that my therapist sent me, I'm gonna check off my vitamins. I do have to take my vitamins every single day. And planning. Planning is a big deal. And I'm gonna use it not just for like my functional planner, but also if I did my um, health journal at night. That's it. I'm just gonna have to uh, write, of course, my routines, my to-dos, as well as here. I have like a huge list. So this is fantastic. I'm gonna do my personal to-do list. And you can have like, uh, if you have like a deadline, priority, anything that you want, work to-do list as well. So I'm going to be pulling from this to here. So this is going to be more like general. So for example, if I have to like post listings, um, I can be like, okay, uh, Friday I'm going to post my listings and I'm going to like work in reverse. So Thursday I need to completely finish all my promo videos, um, the listing photos, all of that. These days I need to completely finish the product as well as the good notes files, all of that. These days I have to like finish designing and then um, completely have everything just so I put into files. So that way I can see like, do I have enough time? Do I have to work extra someday to like complete that task? Things like that. So that's how this pretty much works. I just need to fill things in, like I said. Um, so that is pretty much my weekly uh, setup in my functional planner this week. I do put a lot of like work and thought into my planning when it comes to my functional planners, as you can see. Like I do, I do go crazy with my planning sessions and with my um, scheduling and planners. And I took this, I take this very very seriously. Um, let me know how you like to do your weekly planning, what planner are you using and all of that stuff down below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let them down. You can also go ahead and follow me on Instagram and DM me through there. Um, my DMs are always open if you have any questions or if you just want to talk to a friend. Um, I am always there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you beautiful, beautiful planner girls in my next video. Bye. I can fly to Well